Hello Colonet Africa online students, welcome to our last lesson on this topic of hydrogen and its compound. Today we are going to look or to discuss about the displacement reaction of hydrogen, the burning of hydrogen in air to give water, and also the uses of hydrogen. So in this first, we are going to look at the experiment of what happens when hydrogen is passed over heated copper 2 oxide. Place a spatula full of copper 2 oxide in a porcelain boat on a piece of aluminum foil. Place the boat or aluminum foil in a combustion tube. Set the apparatus as shown in the next slide. Pass dry hydrogen gas through the tube for some time to drain out the air from the apparatus. Collect a sample of the gas from the jet in a test tube and test it with a burning sprint. Continue collecting and testing until a sample of the gas burns silently without a pop sound. This is the setup that is used in or when you are looking at the displacement reaction of hydrogen to the copper 2 oxide. So we have hydrogen gas, it should be dry then it is passed through a heated copper 2 oxide in a porcelain boat and it is passed through an hydrous copper 2 oxide and then we have the hydrogen burning so in this case hydrogen gas when it's passed through a copper 2 oxide we know that hydrogen is above copper in the reactivity cells that means hydrogen normally displaces copper from its compound so it's going to obtain the oxygen from this compound and copper will be reduced so in this case copper 2 oxide is black in color and you're going to find that once you pass the dry hydrogen gas for some time this black solid turns into reddish brown solid which is the copper or the copper metal so light the gas at the jet and start heating copper 2 oxide as shown in the figure ensure a steady flow of hydrogen gas continue heating until there is no further change make your observations allow the apparatus to cool as you continue passing the stream of hydrogen gas over the residue disconnect the apparatus and test the colorless liquid in the cooler part of the combustion tube. Air is driven out of the apparatus to ensure the hydrogen gas being burned at the jet is pure to avoid explosion. On passing a stream of dry hydrogen over hot copper 2 oxide, the black copper 2 oxide changes into lead brown. At the same time, a colorless liquid condenses and collects at the cooler part of the test tube. Hydrogen gas combines with oxygen from the copper 2 oxide, or it displaces oxygen from the copper 2 oxide to form water, which is colorless liquid that collects at the cooler part of the test tube. The lead brown is copper metal. This is the word equation. We have copper 2 oxide plus hydrogen to give us copper metal plus water. This is the equation. Copper 2 oxide is a solid and it's black in color. We have the hydrogen gas, it's a colorless gas. Then we have copper, which is lead brown, it's a solid, it's a metal. And the colorless solution, which is the a liquid, we know that water is colorless. Reduction is the removal of oxygen from a compound or addition of hydrogen to the compound so in this case you can see copper is undergoing reduction because we are removing oxygen from copper 2 oxide then hydrogen is obtaining that oxygen to form the water so if you look at the chemical equation it's like we are removing or we are actually removing the oxygen from copper 2 oxide then we are giving that ox oxygen to the hydrogen to form the h2o so that oxygen combines with the hydrogen to form the H2O and copper is left alone. So 
oxidation is the addition of oxygen to a compound or removal of hydrogen from a compound. So in this case, copper 2 oxide is undergoing reduction to form copper solid, which is lead brown, and hydrogen gas is undergoing oxidation to form the H2O. Then this is another equation that we have we described in the previous uh, slide. Hydrogen removes oxygen from copper 2 oxygen oxide, sorry, hence it is a reducing agent. While copper 2 oxide is an oxidizing agent because it is adding oxygen to the hydrogen or it adds oxygen to the hydrogen. Oxidizing agent is a substance that adds oxygen or remove hydrogen from another substance. Reducing agent, on the other hand, is a substance that adds hydrogen or remove oxygen from other substances. Hydrogen will also reduce the oxides of lead and iron. These are the equation. Lead oxide plus hydrogen, you get lead metal plus water. Lead oxide is orange in color. That's the chemical equation, or the, sorry, the chemical formula for lead oxide. Then hydrogen gas is a colorless one. This will give a metallic luster. Then we have a colorless solution, which is our water. Ion is black. So it's going to change to lead brown, which is the color of the ion metal. And this is the equation for that reaction. Hydrogen doesn't remove oxygen from oxides of other or more reactive metals such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, etc. The supply of hydrogen gas is continued while the supply or sorry, while, while the upper letters cools to avoid the reoxidation of the hot metal by oxygen from the air. Excess hydrogen gas is burned because it's a mixture with oxygen. Air is explosive when ignited. The excess gas is therefore not allowed to escape into air for safety reasons. Then, when you look at the burning of hydrogen in air, we normally allege the apparatus as shown in the figure below, on the figure in the next slide, pass a stream of hydrogen gas through anhydrous calcium chloride, and we pass through anhydrous calcium chloride in order to remove the water molecules. So anhydrous calcium chloride in this case is a dehydrating agent and it is used to dry the stream of hydrogen gas. Test the gas for purity by collecting sample over the jet and testing with a burning spring until the gas burns silently. Light the gas at the jet and turn on the pump. Draw the product of the burning hydrogen using the pump for about 15 minutes. Test the liquid in the test tube using a white anhydrous copper 2 sulfate. Record your observation. So this is the setup for the burning of hydrogen in air. So we have the hydrogen gas from the generator. Then if it comes, remember it must contain some moisture on it. So you have to pass it through this YouTube, YouTube apparatus. And in this YouTube apparatus, we have the anhydrous calcium chloride. This anhydrous calcium chloride removes the water from the hydrogen gas, and you get your, high, your dry hydrogen, which burns with a blue flame. So it, the product for uh, the burning of the hydrogen in air is collected by this inverted pan, uh, filter panel and it is passed through a co ice cold water. The ice cold water actually is meant to condense that gas. Remember that gas is the steam because hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water and that water is in gaseous form. So it is in the, it's a steam. So it's going to be condensed here. So this is the colorless water. And then the other gas or the excess gas of hydrogen gas it is taken to the suction pump. It is taken to the suction pump because we know that hydrogen gas, when it combines with um, oxygen, it may explode. 
When the hydrogen burns in air, a colorless liquid which turns white and hydrous copper 2 sulfate blue is formed. Remember the copper 2, the anhydrous copper 2 sulfate we discussed earlier on and we say that it is actually used for testing for the presence of water. If water is present, the white and hydrous copper 2 sulfate turns into blue. Then the colorless liquid formed is water. Hydrogen combines with oxygen from air to form water. Water is therefore an oxide of hydrogen. These are the equation, the word equation. So let's look at the chemical equation. We have H2, that's the hydrogen gas. O2 is the oxygen gas. Both of them are oxygen. Uh, they are gases at room temperature, and that's why we have the small g into bracket. And now, my view, it should be a subscript. Then we have water is the liquid, so we form a liquid. And hydrous calcium chloride is used to dry the gas, as you see it. Ice cold water condenses the steam to form liquid water. Then let's, lastly, we are going to look at the uses of hydrogen gas. It is used in large scale manufacture of ammonia in a humber or in a process known as harbor process. We shall look at this when you come to uh, foundry. Used during hardening of oils to form fat. This process is called hydrogenation. Still, we are going to look at this hydrogenation in foundry when we look at, when we'll be looking at uh, the uh, organic chemistry one. Used in balloons since it is lighter than air. A mixture of hydrogen and oxygen burns to produce a very hot film. That very hot film is the one that is used in welding. Welding where uh, we have welding shops in towns and so on, and also for cutting metals. It's used in liquid fuel, it's used in the manufacture of hydrochloric acid, and lastly, it is used as a fuel in fuel cells. And that brings us to the end of this topic. topic. And the next is our last assignment, assignment five. five. So you're supposed to answer the question in this assignment. Make sure that you don't copy. Do your own work. Don't copy from the notes. And we test the integrity. I keep on saying that the integrity has to come from you. So make sure that you don't try. If you're copying, you're lying to yourself. You're not lying to anyone else apart from yourself. So be genuine, be truthful and all the best.